In this lesson, I will show you how to use the tabs ruler to create specific spacings by using the tab key on your keyboard. So over here, I have a text created using the text area. And if I select type tool, and then I press tab on my keyboard, it will create this spacing over here. But the size, it's not uh, changeable, okay? So we're gonna use tabs ruler to set specific size of each tabs on each position depending on where you want it to be. Over here, we have a food menu list, which consists of three categories, the item number, the food name, and also the price. And what we want to achieve here is to realign each one of the category nicely, just like this. And to bring out the tabs ruler, go to windows, go to type and press tab. And what I'm going to do now is to select the text and then press on the magnet icon so that the ruler, it will align nicely according to the size of the text box. Now on top here, there are a few icons, the left justified tabs, where you can align the left side of the text together. And then we have the center and also the right justified tabs, where you align the right side of the text. I won't be covering on the decimal justified tab, so I'll be only talking about these three main ones here. And the next thing that we're going to do is I'm going to select everything by pressing Ctrl or Command A. And then I'll be using these indicators to set the position on where I want to align my text. So I can set one at the beginning, like let's say over here. This is the first tab that I want to place. And then maybe somewhere around here, which is for the food name. And then the price over here. Now let's see what happened when I place the text cursor over here and I press tab. So it will push my first tab to the indicator that I set earlier just now. Now let's do the same for the second part, which is the foot name. Press tab to push to the second indicator. And if you notice over here, the foot name actually overshoots the third indicator over here. So what we can do now is to drag this and push somewhere further over here, let's say. Okay, and I will do the same thing, press tab. And now we have another problem. There's not enough space for us to push this text. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna increase the text box or the text area like this. And then I'll click on the magnet icon again to snap the ruler to the new size. So as you can see right now, everything is placed accordingly to the indicators set. Now let's do the same for the rest of the menu list. Now we have a new problem. If you look at this, item number two to number six, it's not aligning to the new indicator position that we have set earlier. These are still in the old position and that is because we did not select everything when we change this indicator just now. So remember to select all the tags before you move the indicator to a new position. And once you're done, whenever you want to change the position of the indicator, you can easily just hold down left click and drag to change the position. Now, if you look at the price, it's not aligned nicely on the right side. You can see the number, the zero at the back, is not aligned in a straight line. So what I want to do now is I want to justify the right side. So again, to do that, select everything. I'm going to use right justify tab, left click, and I will set a new position. And now when I press tab, you can see that each of the text, it will align the right side of the text, or we call it justified right, to the new indicator that we have set just now. And there you have it. This is how you use the tabs ruler to set your spacing size by using the tab key on your keyboard. There's another thing that I want to show you guys. If you go to the type menu and if you turn on show hidden characters, this will show all the hidden icons that represent tabs and also space. So make sure that whenever you want to do uh, custom tabs ruler spacing, make sure that there's no additional or unnecessary spacings or hidden special character within your text. For example, over here, these are the icons for tabs. Okay, the tabs that we pressed just now. And these dots represents the space bar. So whenever you want to use tabs ruler, 
before you do anything, make sure you double check that there's no hidden special character or spacing before you set the indicators in the tab rulers. Alright, now it's your turn to try out this exercise. Download the AI file attached in the material section and try to recreate this menu with this custom spacing using tabs ruler. 